At the Fort Wayne Ham Fest this year, I picked up a used tile headset for my IC7300. And I got home and I realized that it takes an external PTT. And yeah, yeah, you know, okay, fine. No big deal. I'll go buy one. The prices on these things are very proud and they very well may be worth it. But me being me, I want to make it because I think I can make it cheaper than the prices that I can find online for the thing. So come along, let me show you what I have. I got the parts from Amazon. They're not very expensive and I think this is gonna work. Check it out. What we have here is a foot pedal. And if we look at the flip side, they actually give us a handy dandy chart for figuring it out. But because, you know, the whole Reagan thing, trust, but verify what we're gonna do. What I'm going to do is verify the setup here. So the common is the white cable. The normally open is the red cable, which is what we wanna tie into our PTT. And the normally closed is the black cable. And what we have is uh, that there. Let me get a kniff out and strip some of the shielding off. And now that we have the jacket off that thing, we can use a proper set of strippers to get some cable exposed here. I'm gonna take a guess and go that's, uh, I don't know, probably, eh, let's try a 16. I think it's a little too thin to be 16, but we're gonna find out. Huh, look at that. Oh, actually that's 18, 18 stranded. Guessed it right, better lucky than skilled, right? Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's turn on the multimeter on continuity mode. And like a drill, you have to touch it twice to make sure that it still works. Yep, still works. So white to black should give me a tone right now. And white to red should not. But if I press the pedal down, perfect. So now that we have the verification out of the way, what we need to do is get this connector on here. Easy stuff, right? Since we're not gonna use the black, I'm actually just gonna trim that so that it doesn't get in the way of anything for us. And interesting, the connector has a place for me to put the, this tip conductor through for a little mechanical anchoring during the sol after soldering. But it doesn't have a place for me to do that with the common. So I'm gonna grab a drill bit and uh, put a hole in that with a drill. I'll be right back. That'll work. You know, it might be a good idea to put the uh, this doobly-doo on the cable first. Now let's see if I can actually get this done. I think that might qualify as good enough. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, that was brilliant, Carlos. All right, let's see if we have, uh, okay, continuity test works. Shield to shield works. Shield to tip does not. Shield to... The lead does not. Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, I bumped it there. Cool. I'm gonna route this cable through this holder and then, then I'm actually gonna close that up a bit. Put the sleeve into place and then, and instead of paying 30 some odd dollars, a couple of minutes, 15 bucks I think total between the switch and the connector. We have a PTT switch now. We can just uh, we can run a quick verification that our switch works as expected before we try it on the radio. Nothing there. And next, I'm going to hook that up to radio and give it a try. So I found a Parks on the Air station that is active, and I have my headset connected with the uh, switch in hand. Obviously, I'm gonna use this on the ground, but I'm gonna put it on the camera while I use it. Kilo Niner, Oscar Lima. Good afternoon, sir. Kilo Niner, Oscar Lima, 5'9", Northern Indiana, sir. Was that Kilo Niner, Oscar Lima, is that QSL? QSL, QSL. Seven three, put on. There you have it, an easy to build, inexpensive PTT switch that you can use with the headset. That's all I have on this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Seven three.